We want to take you to Tempe, where the streetcar is about to make its debut, and that's where Gibby is this morning, live in downtown. Gibby, hello. Good morning. Hey, here's the thing, Gina, right? I, I think folks have got to get ready to share the road. They already have the Valley Metro. You have the Orbit running around Tempe. Now they will have the streetcars running around. As a matter of fact, they are one step closer to completion. The streetcar testing will get underway today. Now, although it's not time to get on board, it is really time to work out all the kinks to make sure that they everything is safe and secure. Also, a chance for people to start just getting used to seeing them around. If you are in a car, they would like you to treat them like any other vehicle, you know, make sure you give them space. Also, if you're a bicyclist, be quick. Don't try not to ride alongside of these rails here because you're, they are a little wider than the light rails and your tires can get stuck in these if you're riding by. Now, if you're a pedestrian or walking, they urge you to please, please, please use all the crosswalks that are designated out here. The reason why is uh, they are quieter than the light rail. Look both ways before crossing. Now, once it's all said and done, three miles from Apache all the way down here to Mill and Rio Salado. And then they have 14 different stops. They look just like the one I'm standing in front of here. Uh, as you can see, the sixth and, and uh, Mill sign here. So they look just like this when you come on in. Plenty of stops. You'll see them early and often. They say about 125 people will fit in each streetcar.